gets to the bottom and it looks like it just turns into smoke. There are a ton of natural pools forming. Good morning from a tree house. We spent last night here and we gave you a tour in the last video, so if you didn't get to see that, make sure you watch the last video because this place is awesome. The name of this place is Lendas do Capau. We got to stay in the tree house, which was amazing. They don't just have a tree house here. They have a bunch of other rooms, so we're gonna go stay in one of those for tonight. Yeah, unfortunately, this one was occupied another day. We thought we could stay here longer, but uh, we're gonna have to move to another one. After we move to our new place, which seems pretty nice, we're gonna have breakfast and then we're gonna go on a hike. Goodbye jackfruit growing inside of our room. We are gonna miss this room, one of the most unique places we've ever stayed. Look at all these branches coming out. This might be the one and only time in our whole life that we stay in a tree house, so it's kind of sad to leave. It's been good. This is the way down from the tree. It's not a ladder or a rope like you might expect. One last view from the outside. See Lindsay up there, she doesn't want to leave. <laughs> So this is their breakfast area, which is gorgeous. It lets in a ton of natural light. You can see all the plants surrounding us. <sighs> We're hungry. We just sat down and already we have the beginning of our breakfast. We have papaya. So one of the seeds coming out here, uh, a melon, and then this is dried banana looks good and then we have a lot more coming oh what is this might Water be strawberry watermelon juice watermelon juice it's always good now we just need coffee second plate just arrived gotta try this looks like a quiche fried egg cheese and meat chocolate muffin and then i don't know what this is i'll try this first It's very dry and airy. Maybe it's like a tapioca muffin. Okay, we just finished our breakfast. Now we're gonna go to our new room. We'll show you that before we go on our hike. New room. Wow, pretty good. It's huge. First thing I'm noticing, we get a jacuzzi tub. And a shower. Wow. Look at this countertop. Keeping the treehouse theme going. There's a window from the bathroom to the other part of the room. So it looks like this would be probably one of the more deluxe rooms a whole family could fit in here. Two twin beds, looks like a king size bed, a big TV, chairs, like a living room space. And there's a patio out here. A little bit of luxury after the treehouse weren't expecting this at all. Now we're gonna get ready for our hike, which is probably the most famous hike in this area. Do you know what it's called? Nope. I do. The hike we're going on today is Cochera de Fumasa. Let's go! Once again, Maps has failed us, <laughs> so we had to ask some ladies on the side of the road for directions to this place. We asked some other people and they had no idea somehow. This is like the most famous attraction in this area, but maybe they just didn't understand our accent. I don't know. I but think I said it pretty clearly, but yeah, they didn't know, so we asked some other people. They said it's close right up here to the right, so... But Maps is not taking us over here, so 
That's interesting. <laughs> Maps took us to a place where nobody goes again. What we've learned kind of works is we just keep asking people for directions as we go closer and closer and hope that it works out. Okay, we found it. You park here for 10 real. Estacionamento. <laughs> Estacionamento. Estacionamento. <laughs> yeah, we're really lonely. Uh, <laughs> that means parking lot, however you say it. There's only one other car here. This barely looks like a parking lot. We had to register our names and where we're staying and write it down for them, but we didn't have to pay anything and they recommend a guide, but it's not required. They say it should take about five hours round trip. It is six kilometers total. The first part is all uphill. Apparently it flattens out after the first part of the uphill. So yesterday we kind of took a day off. I believe I got food poisoning. So I've been pretty weak, stomach really not feeling good at all. I'm very weak and all I want to do is sleep, but we only have one day left here. So this is our only day to do this hike, but we're going to make it happen. Luckily it's not as hot in this region as it is on the coast. I would guess it's probably around 65 to 70 degrees right now. A little cloudy, so that's good for this hike. Whew. Okay, we've been hiking for probably 10 or 15 minutes, and this is our first little outcrop where we can see the beginnings of the view. There's a butte way over there, some mountains, vast open space. It's starting to look pretty beautiful. <laughs> We heard that on a portion of this hike, we might have to kind of swim through water because it's the rainy season, but it still feels really dry and it hasn't been raining much. So hopefully we don't have to, but we brought flip flops just in case. It's pretty cool. That's a real adventure. Now comes the very steep ascent. We have like a staircase of rocks here, so not too bad, but it is steep. So it takes your breath away every couple minutes. Need a little bit of a break. Going well so far. So people told us that you need a guide because sometimes you might not know where to go and it can be dangerous. But so far it's been fairly straightforward besides one part where you could take a look to the right, take a look to the left, and then we saw a bridge. So it's been easy so far and now this seems pretty obvious. <laughs> so we're glad to have things like this letting us know we're on the right path. Right over the water. Glad wow. we don't have to walk through that. This is like a red-orange water. I think the copper makes it that color. We've been hiking for a good hour, I think over an hour at this point. And this is all we see. We don't know exactly where we're going. We've seen a few people walking by, so that's always a good sign. That means we're on the right track, even without a guide. Okay, so it looks like we have reached some water. This is what we were telling you about earlier. This is what we've heard about. At some points of the year, you have to go through some water to get to the other side. And we see a little bit here. I don't know if we have to take off our shoes to get through or what. Some people told us that during the really rainy season, it can go up to your waist, so like right here. But this doesn't look that bad yet. Wow, the color of that water. Terrain 
this hike really changed towards the end of this. It's like there are a ton of natural pools forming that are this orange color and we think it's from the copper deposits in the water. But that looks almost black. And then right here it's like a bright orange. So accidentally we found this really cool orange and red pond here and people have started even swimming in here. met a local who told us that we can actually go along these rocks in this red river here and that will lead directly to the waterfall. We thought that we would go around this way, which is also a way you can go, but they said this might be a more beautiful way to go. At the end of it you'll be like at the waterfall, look it over. So usually there's a lot of water that's coming down the waterfall, cascading down, making the beautiful pictures you might see, but now in December it's pretty dry so we're not going to see that much, at least that's what they told us. So it's more of the smoky look where only a little bit of the water is going down and evaporating. Yeah, should make it easier to get to than through the water. How do we do this? Well, we finally made it. This is the edge. I know we just said that a local told us we could walk through those rocks and see right over the waterfall, but even though there's not that much water, we are too scared to do that. We've heard one too many horror stories about waterfalls, so it's just not worth the risk. So we're going to take in the view from up here. We are so high up. I didn't realize it was going to be this high. Beautiful landscape. So we're sitting at the top of this thing on the edge, and it is an epic view, as you can see from this. Wow. You can see over here there are people leaning over the edge and taking pictures, doing different acrobatics and things for their pictures. We haven't really done that, but we have the drone, so we got our own. Look at people trying to inch a little bit closer, a little bit closer. So this waterfall is one of the tallest in Brazil and even in South America. It has a 400 meter free fall going down. Crazy. It's hard to even see the bottom. That is huge. So here a little different perspective. A lot of people are going to be up there getting a view of the waterfall or over there getting a different view of the waterfall. But here, you can get the very top. This is right before the edge. You can't even really tell. You could probably walk right over it and not even know, but that is the edge where you'll see it goes down 400 meters. We've been on our way back for probably 40 minutes. Longer. Or longer. Lindsay says longer. Probably about an hour. This is our first shade. 
we've just basically we've just basically been walking through a desert for a while and it is hot. That's what makes this hike tough. Not not anything else. Not gonna lie, this is not the most enjoyable hike. The view was cool, but this part is just so hot. And we even tried to leave early in the day. We would not recommend starting the hike at like 11 or noon. We started at 10 and it's still super hot coming back down. <gasps> when we get back down, we're gonna get some acai and juice and water and jackfruit pastel. So I don't know if you guys can relate, but a lot of times it seems like hikes on the way back feel a lot longer than on the way there. This hike seems never ending. I'm trying to cover myself from the sun so I don't get burnt. Anything you want to say, Alex? No. He's having a blast. Too much energy. We are so exhausted. We're almost too tired to film right now. It's been two hours and we can finally see the building where we started. Oh my goodness. And we're not like in that bad a shape. We saw some people as we're nearing the end going up. They're crazy. If they knew English, I was gonna say you might want, not want to do that because it's uh it's that hot where it's not gonna be enjoyable to go up. We don't envy them right now. We're glad to be done. Time to get some refreshments. They have acai. Yes. Bon tarje. We finally got it. Wow. This is well deserved. Acai is already good, but when you're parched and tired and dehydrated, it tastes even better. And this is a good kind, too. Mm -mm. This is going to replace all the electrolytes and the vitamins and minerals that we mm -hmm. lost through our sweat all day. All gone. I'm savoring mine, slowly. One thing that we found really interesting is at the start of the hike you have to register, put your name on a piece of paper, and the time that you are starting the hike. And then when you come back down, you go to the same building and you have to check out what time you came back. Which, we're not really used to seeing that. I've never been on a hike that does that, but it kind of makes sense because this hike isn't maybe the most safe because of the huge drop off by the waterfall but even then in the u.s there's a lot of unsafe hikes and no one would even know if you never came back any thoughts <laughs> i'm taking over the talking because alex is too tired and he's enjoying his last night <laughs> that's his contribution to the video Alright, we've had a great day. We are going to end this vlog here and we will see you tomorrow. We are going to be touring the town of Valley do Capau and then we're going to be taking a road trip to our next destination. Any last words? Yum. I know we already ended the video, but we wanted to show you this pool really quick because it's beautiful. We're about to see the sunset. Perfect way to end a long, exhausting day. Just getting in this pool and chilling out, having some juices. Oh, our juices They're are coming. actually coming right now. Woo! We got a, <laughs> uh, a guava and a strawberry. Oh, here they come. Uh, looks good. Grab it. Guayaba. I got a guayaba, guava juice, and then they got a morango or strawberry juice. Oh, yeah. Great way to end the day. We needed this. So as you guys know, we post on YouTube as much as we can, but we also have little video clips and photos that we can't post on YouTube. So if you want to see more, follow us on Instagram, Lindsay Travel Bum and Alexander Travel Bum. See you there.
Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. If you want to see more videos like this one, click one of these. And subscribe right here because we're traveling all around the world and we're sharing the whole thing with you. See you in the next one.